November, Lima, Oscar. QRChat.com, Delta Victor 1, November, Lima, Oscar. Thank you, Andy. Giselle, that's a very nice working condition you got there, my friend Andy. Likewise, like you said, it's a two-element delta loop antenna. It's about 15 to 18 meters high from the ground. The radio is a Fox Tango Mark 5 pushing about 150 watts. And the ESO Mike Delta 200 last microphone. We're doing here at the moment 5x5 five five to 5x7, five Andy. Giselle? Andy, I'd just like to confirm, is that 179 or 101? Okay, 10 Alpha Delta 1, number 1, number 7, number 1. And for the website, it's uh, Crossword, Charlie Lima, Uniform, Shara, Tango, at Coronio.com. Is that a case out? All the best, one zero, Mexico, Alpha Doctor one seven one. Please submit me on the frequency. Yes, please, with the RR and uh, do check on both websites. You can get all the details. Okay, from here, from the 79 division, Bravo Mike 747. Say, so, bye bye, good action, and uh, happy. Uh, That's a uh, two whiskey Romeo zero six. Uh, two whiskey Romeo zero six, California, standing by. Two whiskey Romeo number zero number six. Yeah, right back. Uh, Nello, I've been listening on the uh, frequency for a little bit, uh, a couple minutes. I was talking on the telephone, and I had to ditch my phone call so I can uh, uh, work you before uh, before I lost conditions on you. But um, good day, sounded real good. Uh, about a five uh, four copy into uh, San Francisco, uh, California. QSL. Personal name is uh, Larry. That's uh, Lima Alpha Romeo Romeo Yankee, and uh, the station is a uh, I'm using an eight element uh, cubicle quad antenna, uh, Fox Tango uh, 2000 transceiver with a little bit of uh, audio gear uh, driving it. And right now I'm at about uh, 200 whiskeys out. Uh, QSL. Uh, what's 
chat is uh, Mike, uh, no, uh, the Y2 uh, channel. Yeah, it's um the uh, bandwidth on it right now. It's about uh, it's probably about five and a half cases wide on the uh, the transmit bandwidth. So it is a little wide, but uh, um, and then I also got the receive uh, widened up too a little bit. I, as far as I can widen and receive is at four cases. So I'm listening to you at uh, four, but I'm transmitting at about uh, five and a half cases uh, wide. Uh, Kilsa. of that kind of uh, uh, audio gas here, you know, lots of uh, operator here in Manila, uh, the equipment or the audibility out there is the same, they're trying to uh, copycat that one, you know? Yeah, yeah, it, it, um, and you know, when I started doing this was about, you know, maybe, I don't know, about, uh, geez, it had to be like five or six years ago, maybe, um, but, um, and, I started out with uh, one of those uh, W2IHY 8-band uh, uh, equalizers in a different radio. And then uh, I kind of outgrew that and uh, got some uh, larger uh, rack audio equipment. And then um, what I did was I drove channel 1 into the uh, AM transmitter and I drove channel 2 into this uh, Yaesu right here. So, um, But, yeah, it takes uh, it takes a little bit of work to get it right. Uh, it's, it, one thing about it is got to be able to really listen to what you're doing and and uh, sometimes it's kind of hard if you uh, just monitor it with some headphones or listen to it on another radio that you have in the shack. You know, it doesn't quite uh, have the same effect as once it's um, out there across the airwaves. So um, it, it does take a little bit of tuning, and uh, and it does take a little bit of time to get it uh, to get it just right. But it's uh, it is, it's a learning process. But like I said, I've been doing it for a while. So I'm going, and it's one of those things that once you get everything uh, adjusted where you want it, it's like uh, don't touch it, duck yourself. Oh yeah, yeah, and, and that's where uh, it all starts. Because uh, the thing is, you gotta have <clears throat> the um, you gotta have the mic to uh, be able to give you the bandwidth. Um, and and the one I'm using here is a Heil uh, PR40. So you gotta be able to have the bandwidth to go into the equipment, and then once it's in there, then you can uh, tailor the the uh, the bandwidth, the, the low cut and the high cut filtering for you know whatever you want to do. And then you gotta have a radio that'll reproduce it too. So it's it's a few. Uh, it's a few different pieces you got to have in there. You know, on the AM side, on on the other transmitter, um, that one that's uh, I got it a little bit wider than what it is right here. That one goes about um, about nine uh, cases wide, so that one's uh, pretty full. Um, got the whole uh, spectrum in there, but uh, but it works pretty good. Um, every so often, and uh, when when DX is pretty heavy, when there's a lot of uh, a lot of stations out there, sometimes I will take uh, some of the bottom end out of it just to give it a little bit more uh, punch, but. Uh, but yeah, it is. Uh, it is definitely a. It's definitely a process uh, to get everything uh, just right. But um, but it. it uh, and, and you'll see too. I got a. Uh, but I'm doing a uh, video right now. So um, later on, I'll probably put it on YouTube. Maybe tomorrow or something like that. But uh, and you can see what uh, what you're doing on this side of it. Um, the uh, Mark V uh, too. The, the it sounds pretty good and uh, pretty good. Uh, uh, pretty good uh, audio with that, but um, you know, a uh, pretty good signal too. Uh, one thing about it, uh, uh, how it's been over here the last uh, few nights or so, uh, when I got the antenna pointed out over the Pacific, uh, there's, there's a real extremely low noise level out there right now. So uh, it's going to be a pretty good uh, audio recording. So you'll get a real good idea what uh, what you're doing over here, Kusa.